Hello, I'm Amin and this is my entry for the Langflow RAG challenge. Today, I'll show you how to build a complete research assistant using Langflow. This assistant can ingest multiple research papers, allow you to ask questions across all of them, produce structured digest, export notes to Notion, and even read answers aloud with text to speech, all without you having to write a single line of glue code. So what exactly is RAG? RAG stands for Retrieval Augmented Generation. In simple words, you provide the system with your own data, like documents or research papers, and later you can ask questions about that data. Instead of relying only on what the model was trained on, it retrieves relevant facts directly from your documents and then generates grounded, reliable answers. This makes RAG especially powerful for research because it reduces hallucination and ensures answers are always tied back to your uploaded sources. ROG works in two phases. Phase one is all about loading data into the system and phase two is about asking questions and retrieving answers. Let's start with phase one, loading the data. The uploaded documents need to be stored somewhere where they can be searched efficiently. For this, I'm using AstraDB, which is a managed vector database. Now, you may be wondering why a vector database? A vector database is different from a normal database. Instead of just storing text, it stores embeddings, which are numerical representations of text. These embeddings capture meaning and context, so the system can find semantically similar passages, even if the exact words don't match your query. This is what allows you to ask natural questions and still get accurate results from your papers. Now, let's look at the loader flow in Langflow. It's very straightforward and has just four components. First, the file component. This is used to upload or ingest documents, in my case, PDFs of research papers. Next is the split text component, which performs chunking. Large documents are broken into smaller parts, usually a few hundred words each, so the language model can handle them without exceeding context limits. Third, the OpenAI embeddings component. This is where each text chunk is converted into a vector. You need your OpenAI API key here, and embeddings are the secret sauce that makes semantic search possible. Finally, we connect this to AstraDB, which stores all those embeddings. Setting it up is easy. Just sign up on DataStax, create a free database, download your credentials, and plug them into Langflow. Once that's done, you can upload your papers. Here, I've uploaded two research papers, one on GANs and one on diffusion models. I run the flow, and after a moment, all the data is indexed in AstraDB. You can even open your Astra dashboard to confirm that the vectors have been stored successfully. Now that our database is ready, we move on to phase two, the question answer flow. This flow usually has six key components, input, embeddings, AstraDB, parser, the LLM, and finally, the output. It starts with a simple text input where you type your question. That query is converted into embeddings just like we did with the document chunks earlier, these query embeddings are then compared against the database and AstraDB retrieves the most similar chunks. This step is called semantic search and it's what allows your question to be matched to the most relevant parts of the papers. The retrieved text chunks are then passed into a parser, which ensures that the text is properly cleaned and formatted before being sent downstream. After that comes the heart of the flow, the LLM node. Here, the retrieved context is combined with a carefully designed system prompt. This system prompt is important because it guides the model's behavior. Mine tells the model to use only the provided context to avoid hallucinations, to explain equations in plain math notation instead of unreadable latex, and to structure summaries into sections like contributions, methods, and limitations. The LLM then processes all of this and generates the final answer. But I didn't stop there. I extended the flow with integrations to make it more like a real research companion. First, I integrated with Notion using an API. The answers are automatically converted into markdown text, which Notion then renders as clean, well-formatted notes. This means every question I ask is also saved into a permanent research notebook. Second, I added a text-to-speech note so the answers can also be spoken aloud. For example, if I ask, what is this document about? This document is a comprehensive review of generative adversarial networks, GANs, covering their theory, common variants, and extensions. It discusses how GANs... This makes it much easier to review papers on the go. 
On top of that, I also build a simple frontend with StreamIt. This lets me upload documents directly from a web interface and ask questions in an easy to use chat window. To handle file uploads, I use the helper service provided by Langflow or you can follow the official API instructions from their YouTube channel. Either way, it connects to the same Langflow flow behind the scenes, so the frontend is just a user-friendly layer. Now, let's test it. Inside the Langflow playground, I can ask multi-paper questions and see the features in action. For example, if I ask a broad question like summarize the key differences between diffusion models and GANs, the assistant doesn't just pull from one paper. It retrieves content from both of the research papers I uploaded and then synthesizes them into a clear answer. If I ask specifically for a comparison, such as compare diffusion models and GANs for image generation, the assistant automatically formats its response as a table. The table has columns for the paper, the approach, strengths, weaknesses and citations. This makes the result easy to scan and it's a feature that's extremely useful when you're studying or writing your own survey. Next, I can try study mode. If I ask the assistant to make flashcards from this paper, it will generate simple Q&A style cards. It can also generate multiple choice questions, which is great for active recall practice. These are exported directly into Notion in Margam format, where they look like a clean study deck. This transforms the assistant from just a Q&A tool into a personal learning companion. Another feature is the structure digest. If I ask, summarize this paper, Instead of giving me a plain paragraph, the assistant produces a consistent format – key contributions, methods and limitations, or future work. This is similar to how Notebook LM works, but since it's built in Lineflow, I had full control over the structure to the system prompt. This frontend makes it much easier to share the assistant with others, or even to deploy it as a lightweight research tool. So, to recap, in this project we built a Notebook LM style RAG using Langflow. Phase one, the loader flow ingest and stores documents into AstraDB. Phase two, the assist flow retrieves relevant chunks and passes them through a large language model with a carefully designed prompt. On top of that, I extended the system with Notion export, cross paper synthesis, comparison tables, study flashcards, structured digests, and text to speech. I also added a streamlit front end to make the tool more accessible. And that's it. We now have a complete research assistant built without writing any glue code entirely inside Langflow. This is my entry for the Langflow RAG challenge. Thank you for watching and I hope this gave you a clear idea of how retrieval augmented generation works and how you can use Langflow to build your own powerful assistants.